Good morning, Free K. We are going to go back and do a little bit of calendar because we haven't done our pattern very month, um, very much this month. Our month is April, and we're already halfway finished with it. So our pattern this month is umbrella, umbrella, raindrop. All right. So that is an A A B pattern. So let's look at what we need for today. All right. So the last two things we had were umbrellas. So today we need a raindrop, all right? Now, let's look at the number that's on that raindrop. It's one five. That is the number 15, all right? So let's count to 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, so today is the exact middle of the month, okay? So we only have 15 more days left in April, and then we will go to May. All right, so it's the middle of our week. It's hump day. So today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020, and our season is still spring. Okay, so read with me on our sign, just like we do our morning message at school. Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. All right, so let's talk about our weather. We have had lots of rain this week, so for Monday and Tuesday, I put stormy because we've had rain with some storms, okay? So, we've done how many days of weather this week? Two so far. Let's put up today. And today is going to be rainy again. Whoops, wrong one. All right. So, now we've done three days of weather. And how many do we have left? Two. Only two. All right. So, down here, I'm going to put up our weather. It's rainy and it's a little warm. It's not really hot, but it's not cool. So rainy and warm is our weather for today. Our letter for this week is W. Remember, it's a consonant, and it says whoop, 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 like Willie the Worm. All right, so let's look at our word cards and our picture cards, and let's see what else begins with the letter W. So the first picture is window, just like Ms. Connor's standing in front of, woof, woof, window. The next one is this animal, a worm. All right, so that's a real picture of a little worm, and then we have Willie up here. Then this is woof, woof, waffle. Then we have watch, wagon, and remember the wagon has wheels, and wheels also begins with W wasp, and whale, all right? Now, we need to talk about how we write the letter W, okay? W is kind of like our letter V that we wrote last week, except you put it together. So you take two Vs and you put it together. So the capital W goes like this, slant and line down, up, down, up. So that's our capital W. Slant and line down, up, down, up. So that is the big one. Now, I want to make a little one. It's just like the W, except it's smaller. So lowercase is just like that, all right? So like I said, it looks like two Bs, but you put them together and they touch at the top, okay? So I want you to try and practice writing your W today at home on some paper, okay? All right, so today I have our letter W book. Okay, so let's see what little W puts in her box. And um, the author of this book is Jane Belt Moncure, and it's illustrated by Linda Hoag, and she's the person that draws the pictures. Little H, excuse me, little W had a box. She said, I will fill my box. I will put my wildcat and my wand in my box. Little W put on her hat and cape. I will be a good witch, she said. She found a woodpecker and wiggly 
worms to put into her box. So woodpecker and wiggly worms start with W. Little W found a weasel. He wiggled into the box. A wolf was after him. Little W waved her wand. Wolf, be good, she said. Guess where she put the wolf? Where do you think? We'll see if she put her in her box. Little W found a whale. It was a wishing whale. I wish I had something bigger for my things, said Little W. So, wish and whale start with W. Little W found a wheelbarrow. Away she went down the road to the water. Water begins with a W and wheelbarrow does too. I will wade in the water, she said. Wow, said a walrus. What a wacky witch. So there's a lot of W words on this page. Wade, water, wow, walrus, wacky, and witch. All begin with W. Little W said, you belong in my box, walrus. Little W put the walrus into the box. The walrus winked at the wolf. So, walrus, wolf, and winked. Can you wink? Try that. Little W went back to the water. A whale was in the water. You are so big, said Little W. Do you think she can get that in her box? Little W found a wagon, a big, big wagon, and she went right into a, Let's see where she went, a wall. What was behind the wall? Watermelons. Let's have a watermelon party, said little W. So they had watermelons, a wheelbarrow, wiggly worms, a whale, a walrus, a wildcat, a wolf, a weasel with a wishing wheel and a wagon. And they did. All right, Pre-K, I wanted to show you your caterpillars today. Johnny, Bitsy, Sunny, Lovey, and Buddy. So you can see they're just still getting bigger, okay? We've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got two on the top today. Two that are trying to get to the top and one on the side. So they're definitely growing, still eating and moving a whole, whole bunch. All right, Pre-K, today I have a math activity for you and I've got some frogs and they're in a pond. And on the rocks, you'll see that there's different numbers. Like I've got three here and I've got eight here and I've got some all the way over here. And what we're gonna do is we are going to look at two ponds at a time. So we'll start right here with three frogs in this pond and then I have eight in this one. So what I want you to tell me is which pond has more frogs in it, okay? Is it the pond with three or the pond with eight? Which one has the most? That's correct. The pond that has eight frogs has the most frogs, okay? Now let's look at these two sets of Ponds, okay, so I have one that has four frogs in it. This one has four and I have one that only has one frog in it So which pond has the most of these two the most frogs in it? That's right the one that has four that has the most All right, let's look over here at these two all right, so let's look at our numbers of frogs in our pond. This one has five, 
and this one has nine. Which pond has the most frogs in it? The one with nine, good, because nine is more than five, okay? All right, now, I wanna look at these two, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit, okay? Now what I want you to do is I want you to tell me which pond has the least amount of frogs. That means the smaller amount of frogs. This one has 10 and this one has seven. So which has the least amount, the smaller amount? Seven, very good. This has a smaller amount, okay? And then the last set of frogs I have are a set of ponds. I have one that has two in it and then one has six. Which one of these has the least amount of frogs? Two, very good. Two is smaller than six, so it has a lesser amount than six. Very good, guys. All right, pre-K, so we have started talking about frogs, and frogs have a life cycle like a lot of animals do. And we talked about on Monday how their life cycle starts, okay? So the first thing that happens are eggs, okay? Frogs lay eggs, all right? And out of those eggs come a tadpole. And remember, the tadpole is the thing that swims in the water. It has to live in the water. It does not have legs. It has this tail. And then the tadpole turns into a froglet, which is one that still stays in the water, but has the tail, but it starts to have the frog legs. And then once the tail goes away, it turns into a frog. And a frog is in the water, it can be in the water and it can be on land, okay? So I've got a book today to read called From Tadpole to frog and it is going to tell us about the life cycle and this is written by wendy pfeffer she is the um author and it's illustrated by holly keller and remember that's the person that draws the pictures this is frog pond but where are the frogs When winter winds whistle, the frogs hide. They sleep at the bottom of the pond in the soft mud. Frogs hibernate in their hideaway all winter long. So remember, we talked about animals that hibernate, and one animal that we talked about that hibernated was a bear. So frogs do it during the winter too. After the ice melts, flowers appear, birds return, and the pond creatures wake up. Spring has arrived at Frog Pond. Here are the old frogs stretching their legs. At night you hear baroom, baroom, baroom. The males are calling to their mates. The females hear their call and the male hugs his mate. He fertilizes her eggs as she lays them in the water. Thousands of soft jelly covered eggs cling together in the cool water. In about 10 days, the eggs hatch. The pond comes alive with thousands of tiny tadpoles. They wiggle their tails and breathe underwater with gills, just like fish. So we've got the fish eggs, and now we've got the tadpoles breaking out of the eggs. During the summer, the tadpoles swim about eating water plants. But water beetles, snakes, and birds are eating too. They are eating the tasty cat tadpoles. Oh no. When fall comes, look carefully in the water. Are there any tadpoles left? Do you see any? leaves eating and swimming swimming and eating the tad grow tadpoles grow fat
When winter winds blow again, they burrow under the mud at the bottom of the pond. They do not eat, they do not move, they just sleep. When spring sunshine warms the tadpole world, they awake hungry. So they swim and they eat and they eat and they swim. Tiny hind legs begin to sprout. They grow longer and stronger while their tails grow shorter. So now they've turned into froglets. See how the legs have come? They still have their tail, but they've got legs. Tiny front legs begin to show. The tadpoles look like long, tailed frogs. All summer, the tadpoles change. More lungs develop and more mouths and eyes grow larger and more until they become frogs. When their tails disappear, they are no longer tadpoles or froglets. Now they use their strong legs and web feet to swim instead of their tails. Now they can rest on lily pads and leap into land. The frogs flick out their long sticky tongues and capture worms, spiders, and dragonflies. Now, where are the frogs? Can you see them hiding in the grass? Slowly the days grow colder and the winter winds blow. The birds fly south and once again the pond creatures hibernate. Where are the frogs now? Where are they? Remember, they're sleeping in the mud on the bottom of the pond. All right, here are some different types of frogs that we have. There is a leopard frog, um, or a grass frog, sorry, that's here. The pickerel frog, the wood frog, the spring peeper, and the gray tree frog. So there's lots of different types of frog, frogs, just like butterflies. All right, Pre-K, I hope that you have a great day and I will see you on Thursday.